Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. Within today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up damage for our grenade. So if you've been following the last video, if you go ahead and press play, what you are going to have is a grenade actor which you can have come out of the character. Now if you press G, you are going to be able to see that actor. It is a projectile that we have set up and it is going to explode and play a sound effect. Now at this current moment in time what you will notice is that it is not going to do any damage whatsoever to the zombies. That is exactly our task for today. So what we're going to be doing is essentially making this grenade if it overlaps with a zombie when it explodes it is going to completely destroy that zombie so you will no longer be able to see it. We are just going to be doing a one shot instant kill that is completely yet with a grenade. Zombies are not going to be having much health. Now if you want to you can take this one step further and link it into the health system that we have for these zombies. However with a grenade the way that I want to do it it is not going to be essential. So without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it. So start off by opening up your grenade actor. Within here what we need to do is essentially determine our radius of effect and the way we're going to be doing this is by using a sphere collision and then getting a reference to all of the overlapping actors of that sphere collision and then we're just essentially going to be destroying them, killing them. So what we're going to do is add a component and we are going to be adding in a sphere collision component. And what we're going to have now is this little sphere which is going to cover this projectile that we have. Now with this projectile what we can do is check out the radius of effect. Now at the moment you can see if I drag this into my scene it is way too small that is not going to be able to damage a zombie and is not going to be consistent with the type of radial damage that you can expect from a grenade. So what we're going to do is go to our sphere go to our viewport and what we're going to do is simply scale this up. So using the scale tool you can make this bigger or smaller it's entirely up to you. And then if we use the scene, the real scene within our game, we can actually use that as a reference to scale. Now a value that I have found which works really well for me if we go to our sphere is scale 7, 7 and 7. And then if you go ahead and hit compile on this, jump into you can, your scene, you can see this is a nice area of damage for that grenade. Now what we need to do with this radius or this radius of damage, what we need to do is essentially attach it to the static mesh. So what we need to do is take our sphere, we need to click and drag it to attach the sphere to that static mesh. And the reason for that is because that static mesh is actually a physics asset, it is going to be going away from the center of this blueprint. So we want that collision to move with the blueprint. So with that being done, what we can now do is work on the code, which is actually going to get a reference to all of the enemies that are you know, overlapping that radius of damage. So what we're gonna be doing is simply get overlapping actors and we're going to be doing this with our sphere. So returns a list of actors that this component is overlapping. This is exactly what we're after. And then we can use a class filter to determine exactly what type of actors because you only want this to destroy enemies. We don't want this to destroy the walls, we don't want it to destroy the floors or anything like this. It is just for enemies. So our class filter, we're going to be setting this to simple AI, which is our zombie class. And then what we're going to be doing with our overlapping actors is simply destroying these. So what we're going to do is right click somewhere we've got a little bit of blank space, destroy actor, and we're going to hook this up to the end of our sequence for our spawn sound at location. And then for the target, you want to hook this up to the overlapping actors. And what this is going to do is essentially every single different zombie which is in there, it is then going to destroy that. So if we go ahead and hit compile, 
hit play, and possess, we can test this. So if I hit a grenade that way, you saw there it then made the zombie disappear. Let's hit that one, he's gone as well. Let's hit all, both of these two at the same time if we can. One, two, that one bounced a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult because our you know, our grenades have got physics. There is the element of, you know, you need to throw these at the right place. And if I get it right, I can make those zombies disappear there and there. And our grenade is working really well. Now, one thing you will notice with our grenade system is we have the shells of our grenade within our scene still. They are not disappearing. So that is something which I'm also going to be covering in this video. So what we're going to do is essentially leave the shell of that grenade there for a couple of seconds. So let's go with five seconds. And then after that, what we're going to be doing is destroying that actor. The target is going to be itself, and because we're in the grenade actor blueprint, itself is going to be the grenade, and it's going to remove absolutely everything that is inside of here. <coughs> so, if we go ahead and hit play now, hit possess, and we throw one of these grenades into our scene, and we kill some zombies off if we can actually hit them, and so let's just go ahead and do that. Or rather than actually trying to kill them, what we can do is just look for the shells. So the shell is going to be there. One, two, three, four, five. And after five complete seconds, it is going to disappear, which you can see it has done there. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for our grenade system. Like I said, if you wanted to, you can take it one step further by using health. You can incorporate the physics, which I have showed you in one of the previous videos. It's entirely up to you. But for now, you have got a very solid foundation for your grenades. As usual, guys, that is everything. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.